Hey everybody, Ross here. So another question that I get a lot is why should I get an LPI certification or an entry level certification? Why should I do something that's vendor and distribution neutral? Why should I just go right straight for Red Hat or SUSE or Canonical or something like that? Well, it's pretty simple. Do you have a guarantee that the distribution that you learn and start out on is always going to be the distribution that employers are going to ask you about? Now, if you were learning Microsoft products years ago, you'd say, Psh, of course, absolutely. Um, you can't guarantee that you're going to have Red Hat or SUSE or Ubuntu um, and, and that your skills are, you know, are always going to be in demand for that particular one through every one of the projects and jobs that you get. So I tell everybody, why don't you get the vendor neutral certification? That's this great foundation basis for uh, your skills. And it's about a 15, maybe a 10 percent change from there. Basically it's tool sets, um, you know, the different command lines and where do you, what bash files get executed and sourced when you, when you sign on to the system and, you know, where's your X customizations at. So it's very important that you think about your career and the set of skills that you have and don't just tie yourself to a single distribution. Make sure that you tie yourself to Linux and then you can learn pretty much any one of those different distributions. So that's, that's the answer to that question and it's a very important one for those who are just getting into this field. Get your LPIC level one, study for and, and take those exams. You might want to add the Linux Plus just because you know it's nice to have another certification and especially if you've already studied for the LPIC one, you can go past the Linux Plus hands down, it's very easy. And while you're at it, you might want to take some of the other entry level certifications that are around too. So think, of the, think again, we talked about in the last video that we did, where uh, you have this uh, interview matrix where only the top 5% of candidates uh, get an interview uh, for a particular project or a job. And the best way to make sure, outside of having experience and skills and, and all those things, is to make sure that you have the requisite certifications so that you get those extra points that bumps you up in the standings. So make sure, again, that you are clear about why you're getting your certification and then also why you ought to get a vendor neutral and distribution neutral certification like LPI's Level 1. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.